Welcome citizens of Warframe! Hackbay Gaming is here with you! Who else is gonna be here with you taking care of you and making you the most amazing builds? Let's go! So, I'm gonna deliver for you today six builds for Limbo. I'm sorry I had I didn't make this build sooner. It's okay guys. I'm gonna take care of you today. Six builds. Not one, not two. Six builds. Alright? So, first of all, I'm gonna separate the video in explaining to you Limbo. And then the builds. Alright. So, let's start with his passive. So before we talk about anything, 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 all right, I want to explain to you that Limbo, keep it in this in mind, as much as you understand this one, you're going to be perfectly fine. Limbo can go between the reality and the rift. Like, he, he, he moves between two worlds, all right? The reality and the rift. Anything on the reality, he can hit while he's in the reality. When he's in the rift, he can hit everything on the rift. Now, if he's on the rift, he cannot hit the reality. If he's on the reality, he cannot hit the rift. Okay? Simple as that. All right. So, starting with his passive. Dodge to enter and exit the rift. Entering leaves behind a small rift portal lasting 5 seconds. Energy slowly recharges in the rift. And each enemy killed in there also gives 10 energy. Now, this is why many Thanos that doesn't like playing with Limbo in the squad. This is one of the reasons. So... To enter and do like you go forward and boom shift that's what dodge like dodge boom okay boom dodge okay so you see these portals that you leave behind so let's assume there is a tano like running just behind me like we are running towards capture or whatever and you just shift like this boom he enters there and the moment he attack enemies boom he is upset now already and already writing uh, something in the uh, in the chat that cursing or something all right so what he have to do is actually dodge again so he's able to shoot those enemies that's why people doesn't like to play with limbo so keep that in mind that's uh one so running around players and dodging maybe i piss them off okay now moving to banish cast a wave of uh, rift energy that damage hostile while pushing enemies and allies out of limbo's current plane of existence so means if limbo in uh, reality and he shoots you with this first ability, you're gonna go to the rift. And if you are in the rift and Limbo shoots you with this one, you're gonna come back to the reality. So you get the idea. Whatever Limbo is, he's gonna push you towards the opposite. Simple as uh, that, okay? Moving next, stat uh, so and this one, actually you use it, for example, if you're defending something and you just banish it, so it's separated from everything and uh, it doesn't get damaged, okay? Status. Freezes rift uh, bo uh, bond enemies while active uh, enemy projectile are arrested in mid-air, uh, resuming its trajectory when status ends. So, anything on the rift, in the other realm of Limbo, where his special realm, that uh, when he hit this ability, it freezes them. Like, they stuck, alright? They stuck. That's it, they stuck, okay? Okay. So, Rift Surge. Surge, uh, nearby Rift bounds enemies with Rift energy while when killed, the Rift Surge is transferred to a nearby enemy outside the Rift. Surge enemies that leaves the Rift perform a Radial Banish. So, this one, anything hit by the Rift gonna get like uh, some sort of uh, Rift energy damage. And when they die, they do like, let's say, some kind of Radial uh, Banish, alright? So, moving next to Cataclysm. Now, this is one of the most hated ability on the game. Because when you combine it with the status, and it's, it's crazy. So a violet blast of void energy tears open a pocket of rift plane, which can sustain itself for a short period before collapsing in another lethal blast. So this one, technically what it does, it opens its area. It makes an area, right? Okay. This area, it, it it's like the rift itself. Okay. It's like you combine the reality with the rift in a small area. Now, enemies can enter through the rift. It's okay. When you hit status, you're gonna stop time. I'm, I mention, I always say like, you stop time, not freeze them. You stop time. Enemies stop. Okay. So, if players inside the, the that circle, the cataclysm, which is this one, they cannot hit enemies outside of the cataclysm. And when they're outside of the cataclysm, they cannot hit enemies inside. So let me explain it to you really, really quick. So if I put like this, check how big it is with high range. All right. So let's assume in, you you are inside here, right? Look. You see that? You see, that's why any players doesn't like Limbo. Because the moment they are here, let's say they killed all the enemies around here and there is no enemies anymore, there is only enemies outside and they try to eat it and they're like, ah, Limbo, what's wrong with you, Limbo? Turn off Cataclysm. That's why they don't like you. All right? Simple as that. Okay? That's that. Now, moving to 
build talks now so we finish explaining to you limbo boom 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 so we're gonna start talking it's gonna be six builds boys so i'm trying to make this as fast as possible we're not gonna go to uh any steel path or something because it's gonna make the video super 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 long okay so this build is basically for mostly the new players who doesn't have let's say helm abilities doesn't have this is like clean build okay so still powerful energy siphon warframe energy regenerates six energy rate 0.6 energy cunning drift for more range and slide and the minus friction continuity for duration ogre message for also duration also 80 percent energy spent on abilities converted to shield cataclysm continuum this one the cataclysm augment which is uh, for uh, the cataclysm this one the fourth ability every enemy that is killed is going to be increasing the duration by one second okay the idea is the cataclysm itself it's like a circle right every time the duration goes down it like gets closed slow smaller 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 until it disappears the cataclysm continuum will make it last longer all right Overextend for more ability range and minus ability strength. Constitution for ability uh, duration. Moving next to uh, uh, ability range uh, stretch. And we have natural talent. Uh, improve casting speed on Warframe abilities after applicable by 50% seconds. So you cast them faster. Prime of the flow for energy max. Now if you don't have the constitution and you don't like it. You can always use Ogre Reach. Alright. You can Ogre Reach for more uh, let's say uh, range. Right. But. That's totally up to you. It doesn't make uh, any difference. You can play around with the builds and so on. No problemo. There you go. We're going to be using energy, Energize and Strike. Attack speed on melee weapons. You can use the Fury. Depends on the weapon that you're going to be uh, using. Change the second arcane based on what you're going to be using. Alright? So, there is no helmet ability here. So, here is how it works. Okay. So, those are the enemies. Okay. Boom. You hit the fourth ability. And then you stop time. You hit the third ability. Okay, and then you just kill the baby. Easy, easy. Simple as that. And now, if, if, let's say, if, let's say, Eximus unit enters the rift and you get some lethal damage, boom. Shift, go away, boom, run away. Now, if you want to make it better and easier for yourself, you have to put, uh, of course, the mighty mod uh, Rolling Guard. Okay, you can put rolling guard uh, somewhere in the build like instead of ogre here or somewhere Okay, so to save yourself from any uh, like uh, bad situations or so on. Okay Remember that I said it so I don't say hi there is no rolling guard. Uh, don't worry. Okay now moving next to the loot This build is more towards loot Let's say you go to the Zariman and you try to do the Haliku perimeter and you want to get all the let's say the plumes Okay this will help you. I know Zaku is very, very powerful on that, yet Limbo can do the same. What you do actually is you have loot radar, Rift Suite, and whatever, and so high, uh, so high uh, range, okay? And all you have to do is keep spamming your Cataclysm, like you go as so. You go spamming your Cataclysm, like this. And you, delete, you take it off, you, boom, take it off. You spam it, boom, take it off. So the idea here, what, what it does is when you uh, hit your Cataclysm, it will destroy every crate. And when you look at your mini map and you just go, you loot. If uh, something haven't been destroyed, that's a plume. Okay? So you can use this one in the Plains of Eidolon to crash those uh, crates. You can use this in Plains of Eidolon to find the, 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 the clothes, the wings. It's so useful on looting any crate or any killing any enemies or not enemies, like small mobs or something to kill them. Alright? So think about it. Okay? This is the build that you want to use for... Uh, looting okay there you go of course you're gonna be using neutral talent to make it easier and so on okay so there's no helmness there is nothing here okay just 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 for looting keep your eye on the minimap because deep sweat is highlight mods through the environment as well as well as the minimap plus 42 loot radar loot detector as well uh, loot detector as well minimap shows loot crates plus 30 loot radar there you go you have like around 72 loot radar you're gonna be as perfect okay now moving to the real deal baby Let's go now to the real deal. Now, starting with search. Now, this now where things get a bit complicated and more advanced. All right. So we're going to be using energy siphon, power drift for strength, continuity for duration, rolling guard to protect yourself, rift turret. Now, rift turret, rift search, augment, 
Limbo deals 30% extra damage for each enemy affected by Rift Surge while in the Rift. And we all know you cannot affect enemies with the Rift Surge unless they are on the Rift. So either using Cataclysm and the first ability is gone. So Cataclysm and then use the set ability so you'll be able to do uh, the Rift turrets which boosts your damage. Overextend for range, flow for energy, intensify for strength, blind rage for stamina and efficiency, ogre secret for strength. Now, how are we going to do this? This is a high strength for the our baby Breach Surge for Damage Multiplier. Okay. You know, this one you get it from Wisp. We're going to change the first ability and let's let's have a look how this what, what this ability, what this build actually does. Okay. So, the whole idea here, I want you to look pay, pay close attention to the top right where is my health, right? I want you to look there. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the Cataclysm and then I'm going to use the third ability. Boom. You see that? 1,332%. Now, that's very, very important, guys. You need to uh, pay attention to that because that will escalate with enemies infinitely. Like, there is millions of enemies. It's going to go in a crazy amount of damage. Now, if we hit the bridge search, stop the enemies, and boom, boom, shiki, boom. Dead. Okay? There is no coming back from that. Simple as that. So what you're going to be doing is using 4th ability, 3rd ability, 2nd ability, and then hitting the bridge surge. And you are fine killing every enemy. And yet, you're going to be hitting 700 million, 800 million, 1 billion. You're going to do crazy amount of damage, alright? And if you have a team member with you, which uh, using like, uh, for example, let's say, Nidus using the link on you, going to make more strength, means power for bridge surge. If you have a team member with you with high strength and using... Eclipse with total eclipse, bro. You can do damage cap. Just saying. If using some exodia contagion, even with uh, a glaive. All right, moving next now to terrify. Terrify the same, actually almost the same build, except we lower things and change things around. Energy siphon, power drift, continuity intensify, rift turret. The same idea. Okay. Move over, extend, primate flow, rolling guard, transify, and uh, secret. Now terrify. All you need to do is you get 156 percent, so you can armor strip. Okay, so you have your same abilities. Here you have duration 128, efficiency 100, range 190, which is okay. Uh, strength 178% for the armor strip. So the idea of this build, how it works, very, very, very simple. Okay, let's go. So, here, here, here how it goes. We're gonna go, boom, same thing, same thing. Stopping enemies, using the third ability, getting 1068, armor stripping them, and boom. Okay? There you go. When enemy's HP becomes red, that means they are uh, armor stripped. Simple as that. Now, if you want to, uh, like, let's say you felt enemies are overwhelming you in a way, and you're not happy about it, and so on, and so on, and so on. Uh, give me a second, let me put back over secret. So you're feeling enemies are overwhelming you, and so on, and so on. There is things you can do, which is you can try and put uh, the creepy Terrify Augment. Affect enemies have 60% reduced movement speed. You can, like, even if, let's say, Eximus unit and uh, Nudifiers bothering you a lot and you cannot, like, um, you're not comfortable, right? You can change Rift with uh, Creepic Terrify. I know you're going to sacrifice damage, but don't worry. You have the armor strip. You're going to be fine. You can sacrifice maybe, let's say, you, you need to have, like, 178 you can sacrifice uh, the ogre uh, secret, by the way. You can you can remove the ogre secret, but you have to use uh, Molt Augment to catch up with the, with the uh, strength. Okay? Or you can use even... You remove Intensify, actually, and you can catch up with the Molt uh, Augment. Okay? You can use both of them. You can use Grift and Creepic Terrify at the same time. Just use Molt Augment so you can have enough strength to armor strip with one shot. Otherwise, you will have to use the ability two times. And it's a costing ability that costs 75 energy. You don't want to find yourself in situations where it's very hard for you. Now, this ability you get it from Necros, of course. So, yeah. Moving next to Cold Power. Let's go, baby. One of my favorite, if it's not my favorite so far. Um, I have a special thing about this ability. So, let's go. Uh, energy Siphon, Power Drift, Continuity, for Extend Drift, Turret, to Rolling Guard, Stretch, Intensify, Blind Vision, Flow, and Fury, and ener Energize. We're running 155 duration, uh, negative uh, efficiency, range 235, and Strength 198. Now, Strength here plays a small role on Halt and kill Cold Damage, but it's not, not, not super, super, super necessary. Okay, so you actually can, uh, let's say, put like Efficiency, Fleeting Expertise, you can like 
do this but you don't want to get low uh okay you, you can actually uh boom you can put efficiency here you can play around yeah you can you can play around but i love it the way it is because i can handle it all right because i have a flow will cover up for me energize will do the best energy cyber i have i have enough source of energy to cover up for the efficiency all right so let's go so this build how it works exactly is i try to make something anti um let's say nullifiers and eximus units not mostly nullifiers this i find this build is countering those nullifiers what i mean with that is the idea of nullifier is when you cast your cataclysm and a nullifier enters the cataclysm what that has what it what happened is they take off your cataclysm you find yourself a lot of enemies are charging at you and you have no idea to do what to do and you are dead so the idea is so when we are on the cataclysm like this right everything is fine we have our 1128 percent damage we are fine we're happy so now let's imagine from there that point there is a nullifier entering the realm now i'm using the first ability which is freezing enemies there you go because i know some of you saying but hank the second ability freezing enemies yes but when you cut you take off the uh cataclysm that's it that's the end for you my friend okay that's uh the end so breach search uh sorry the uh the ability from ghost thermal thunder will help you through this look at that boom boom easy breezy all the enemies that uh inside and they are being frozen you're gonna be killing them easy breezy all right boom boom and boom okay simple as that that's the idea of the build trying to create uh, a second uh let's say a backup plan for uh limbo actually freezing enemies with the second ability without the cataclysm so what limbo does is using the fourth ability and then freeze them with the second ability now with this you can freeze them with the first ability as well so you are secure and safe you're gonna find some problems with the uh, energy so if you are a new player take it easy take it easy on negative uh, efficiency until you build up your your stuff all right now moving next to the fourth build this one is more towards let's say if you're going to farm into in the arena if you want to be more friendly with players if you want to keep it like if you go farm kuva survival if you want to go to the arena if you want to keep it friendly with the players it's something that will help uh, you and the players minimize uh, how much you bother the other players by that i mean you having so low air range that you don't, your cataclysm is small just to protect the excavation you protect the uh, you're gonna be very nicely people will like you all right energy siphon power drift continuity rolling guard cataclysm narrow minded fleeting expertise intensified blind bridge and flow and we have energy and fury right here and we're gonna be using pull from uh mag okay so you you can use the one from zephyr it's okay it's not a big deal you can use any ability you want here anything you feel that will help you, you can use maybe uh eclipse you have a lot of strength for that okay the, the 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 reason actually i have a lot of strength here is because i'm switching between pools uh i'm switching between pool uh let's say eclipse uh bridge surge zata whisper i change build i change the stability always so from time to time i just change it okay so keep that in mind that's why i have high strength because i just explained anyway so how this works like if you see now my cataclysm it's so small it's teeny tiny miny look at that look at that it's teeny teeny miny so in, so players will be like hiding here and then boom hitting enemies and then hiding here then hitting enemies hiding here hitting enemies they're gonna be happy they're not gonna be bored or bothered or or leave your squad okay so let me cast it here near enemies so you see how far it is so what they're gonna be doing is boom hitting enemies hiding back boom hitting this enemies inside hiding out boom you see it's easier for them to maneuver from in and out without getting bothered now pool on the other hand is just to collect enemies around look at that you see that boom 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 now any uh, all the enemies outside they're gonna be uh, collected but remember uh it is like kind of not so good because the range is uh, small okay so it's like more of something that you can play around with okay but i highly advise you that you uh, don't get uh, the 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 pool as i told you i change this ability most of the time it depends on the situation or what i'm playing against but most of the time 99 percent you will want to use the eclipse 
Okay, so let me uh, show you. Let's remove the case really quick. I mean, this case is like crazy. I, I don't know. I, I think the moment you get the Helmnith charger, I think it, that's it. The case should stop popping up. I mean, I understand maybe someone sells his Helmnith charger, but it is what it is. So we put Eclipse. There we are. We are missing uh, the biotics. Uh, Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some of that. Boom, feed him. This guy eats a lot. Okay, we put Eclipse and Visibility. First, confirm. Now, for this, some players doesn't know how to use the uh, enemy system. That's how you do it. All right, let's go. So, this is the ability that I use most of the time on the uh, last build, especially when you go to Arena or something like that. So, we go here to, to check. Abilities, boom. You have 380%, uh, 87% damage increase. Of course, in top of what? In top of uh, the Cataclysm, uh, it's going to be casting your duration. You're going to be fine and happy. And of course, with the Fury, going to give you extra damage. You're going to be deadly, brother, with Eclipse. Okay? So, yeah. So, uh, what's left for me to say is really, 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 I hope this build, and this builds actually, six builds, helps you out. I try to squeeze most of the information I know about the game towards this build so to help you out with your limbo uh, experience because many players doesn't like limbo I mean I don't see why I, I see the why when I play when limbo is my party but he's, he's, a, he's a nice frame he's very useful frame you can use him a lot he, he's, he's awesome so what's left for me guys to say is I want to thank you all for supporting the channel and if you want to support the channel like everyone else just hit the subscribe button much appreciated big love to you I don't know who's subscribing most of the time but big love to you I don't know who you are but big love to you for supporting me without knowing me big 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 love like comment share the channel let me know in the comments below what you think about this build what you would twist around all the criticism is uh, is welcome as much as genuine and we have discord link the link is on the description everyone is welcome we're building an awesome community welcome 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 we're streaming in mon uh, Monday uh, Wednesday and Saturday on Twitch and on YouTube the same time I stream both platforms same time so you're following me now on YouTube just go and drop a follow in uh, Twitch big love to you and I see you in the next time